together. Okay, then um, remember, uh, remember from the last class that we had, we reviewed the mathematical concepts of, uh, you know, the numbers and all that. Uh, do you remember, Natalie, what we learned last uh, in the last class about uh, the numbers, the types of numbers? You don't need to. Natalie? I was first used. Natalie? Can you hear me, Natalie? Yes. Yes. Do you remember what we were watching uh, the, about the numbers, the types of numbers that we, we learned? Do you understand the question, uh, Natalie? Uh, um... mm -hmm. do, do you remember the groups of a number that we were watching the last one? Mm -hmm. Which groups were? Do you remember there are natural numbers? We have the integers. Do you remember the natural? What were the natural numbers, Natalie? Mm -hmm. which, which, with which number the natural number starts? Natalie? See? Yes. With, with which number the natural number starts? With which number? Remember? Let me see if we can go to the video and check it. Algebra. Uh, here it is. Here it is. Rem remember that the we have the natural number that starts with which uh, number? Start with. Do one. you see the point? With one. Okay. The na the natural number start with one. Okay. Natural number start with number one. And go and they go until where? Until where? Where, uh, where the national numbers end? Do, do they have uh, an end? Infinity. Mm -hmm. They end into, they they don't end actually, they, they are infinite, you know? The, uh, infinity is uh, like saying in Spanish, infinito. And, and the natural numbers are infinite, okay? The natural, Natural numbers are infinite. Okay, that means that is uh, one thing is infi infinity. Infinity is like the 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 noun el infinito, and infinite is que son infinito. Right? In Spanish, it sounds the same, but in English, it's different. You know, the uh, infinity is the noun, and infinite is uh, the is a is something is something that is infinite infinite you know is how can I explain this? Okay, natural numbers start with number one, uh -huh, and they go until infinity. Okay, uh, actually, all the numbers you know the uh, in 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 Spanish, in Spanish we call this conjunto, right? El conjunto de números. Reales, el conjunto de números naturales, ¿verdad? And then natural number, we have natural number 
we have real numbers. Real numbers. What are the real numbers? Uh, the real numbers start with what? Um, Catherine. Mm -hmm. One and... Real numbers, um, they go from minus infinity to... It doesn't start... Uh, real numbers actually don't have like a start because they are they are uh, the real numbers uh, is the whole the whole set of numbers you know the 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 thing of it is that the real numbers are uh special numbers like pi the square root of two and 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 that kind of uh, special numbers let me see here uh -huh. Then a real number starts in minus infinity and in, in, in where? In where? Uh, in, Catherine? Uh -huh. Positive numbers. Positive infinity. Okay. Uh. Infinity or positive infinity? I don't know. It, well, it is, it is from. It's called like this minus. I don't know how can I print it out. <laughs> how can I look for review, view, appearances, view, etc. I'm just trying to. Symbols. Here you can find the symbols in here. Here you can say, do you see infinity? This is infinity. Okay. Then they they start in infinity and they end uh in inf and minus infinity and they and, and they end up in infinity. Where is it? Okay. That's how you represent in, in mathematics um the the real numbers, okay? Because they go from minus infinity to infinity. The real numbers start with a zero and they end in infinity. Do you understand that, uh, Catherine? And this is mathematics. You will use it in university, in college, okay? In, in college, you will use this. Then this is, uh, the natural number starts at zero and they end in infinity and the real number uh, starts in minus infinity and goes to infinity. The thing is the real numbers well, they are special numbers that have a lot of decimal points. Like, for example, if number pi, what is pi? Can you see the symbols, uh, Catherine, or no? The symbols uh, here. I'm saying the, um, mm -hmm. raised by that. Uh-huh, the, the, you can say the square root of two, for example, is uh, uh, because uh, the square roots, they have a lot of numbers after. Which are the real numbers? Well, the uh, real numbers, Include the natural the natural numbers like I will let me let me under, uh, help you understand this the 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 real number the real numbers include real numbers include natural numbers okay do, do you understand that um, Catherine yes. Yes, I understand. I do you understand that, uh, for example, the real numbers, re, uh, re, uh, for example, real numbers are 
a minus a minus seven minus six uh -huh, minus five, uh, five and so on you know go, go minus and, four and a uh, one two three four five Th those are one two three four I know that this is kind of difficult for you to understand right now, but uh, these are uh, the these are the natural numbers. But if you say, well, in the middle of between eight and seven, uh, well, uh, the square root of eight is how much? The square root of eight, for example, is. is uh, 2.8228. This is a real number. Do you see here the calculator? Can you see the calculator here or no? Catherine? Um, what? I can don't understand. No, can you see the calculator that is in the screen? Um, I'm using... Mm -hmm. Que si he visto una calculadora. No, if you can see the calculator, I'm using a calculator right now in the computer. Can you see the screen, a calculator or no? You cannot see it, I think. No. If, no, you don't see the calculator. I, the, the thing is, I opened the calculator and you cannot see the calculator. Well, well the square root of A, for example, The square root of a close is equal is equal to two point two eighty two eighty four twenty seven two point eighty two eighty four eighty seven twenty seven. This is the square root of a. Okay, then this number. It's gonna be between what? Between two and three. Minus here, minus five, minus four, minus three, minus two. And this this square root, for example, this is a real number. This is uh, the uh, oh. This is a real number. Then this number, 2.82, is here. It is in between two and three. Let's let's see. Let's see that is okay. Minus. I know this is difficult. Esto es más difícil porque acuérdense que estamos hablando en inglés y ustedes están aprendiendo matemáticas. Es un poquito complicado, a little bit, but you know, you need to understand that. You need to learn English because if you are, if we don't transition to English, you will never learn because I, I feel that you are kind of behind están un poco atrasados eh, y necesitan mejorar un poco el inglés. Y es difícil tratar de, you know, be patient, not get, not getting, you know, anxious because you don't understand. No se impacienten, tengan, pas, eh, tengan, eh, you know, un poco de calma. Eh, por si no entienden algo, pregunten, por favor, porque eh, para eso está la clase. What we are doing is trying to force you to move from Spanish to English, you know, to transition from Spanish to English. 
then uh, because if you if we don't do it, we will you will never do it. You know, is it, you need to transition. You need to move on. Okay, you need to transition to speak English. Okay. Be calm and patient. And if you, uh, or is this having a problem? Don't understand. Please ask. It's easy to ask, okay? If you don't understand what I'm saying, please ask. Then what I'm saying right now is that the real numbers include the natural numbers, okay? Include because, uh, because for example, uh, there are, for example, square roots that the square roots that uh four. What is the square root of four? Um, let me see who is here. We have uh Paola. It's Paola and a Paola. What is the square root of four? Oh. What is uh the square root of four? I mean, dos. Two. Uh, two, two in English. We are transitioning from Spanish to English. Then you have to answer in English, two, okay? And in the mathematical is going to be a little bit more difficult, but uh, we are not going to see uh, things that are very difficult. We are going to see things um, that are, you know, to your level, more, more or less. And remember, if you don't understand, please ask. Okay, then uh, we were talking with Catherine that the real numbers, numbers include uh -huh, the natural number. That means eh, el conjunto de los números reales está incluye el conjunto de los números naturales, ¿verdad? Y, eh, y el de los números enteros también, ¿verdad? Porque el, eh, the integer, uh, what are the integer numbers? So we, eh, we, um, we saw the, la, uh, the last week. Let me see who is here. Daniela, which, which are the, the, the integers? from where to where they go, when they start and when they end. Daniela? Can you hear me, Daniela? Uh, yes, Mr. Mm -hmm. uh, the integers, mm -hmm. um, the negative integers, uh, the negative one and negative no. pi? Mm -hmm. No, negative, uh-huh. Negative, where do they start? They start uh, very way up in the in, in the in the infinity, okay? They start in minus infinity and they go to plus infinity, okay? Okay, but the thing of it is that the uh, integer numbers are only integers, solo numeros enteros, it doesn't include a number that have a, a, a decimal point, okay? Estos is are only whole, they are called whole numbers as well. They, uh, they it, it, this uh -huh, set of numbers does not include numbers that have a decimal point. Uh -huh. And then, uh, for example, it's, it's uh, one, two, three, 20. Everything that is integer, that is whole number, it will be in that set. That's a set of number. In English, set is equal, es un conjunto, set of numbers, okay? Then that's what we call set of numbers, set of real numbers. Set of 
natural number. Okay. And set, no le llamamos conjunto, ¿verdad? Sino que, porque no es español, ¿verdad? Es inglés. Then it's, it's, it's a set. A set is a, a bunch of, un montón de números, of, of, re, of numbers, okay? A set, and uh, depending on the, on the magnitude of the, of the set, One, uh -huh. one set may, uh, can be included in another set, okay? That means that un conjunto puede estar incluido dentro de otro conjunto. I don't know if you, uh, well, in Honduras, they were, when I was, you know, at school, it was very, I was very young with that. I think it was in, in second grade or no in sixth grade uh, i think in sexto grado i uh, i learn about the conjuntos the set of numbers uh, am i wrong uh, are you who is learning about the set of numbers uh, natalie did you learn already about the set of numbers in the school no or they took it down they they don't natalie uh -huh. Oh. The, the set of numbers, los conjuntos. No sé si estudiaste los conjuntos en matemática. Uh, no. No, you didn't. Uh, okay. Well, in, uh, the, it was included in no, normally un conjunto de números in, in Spanish. Uh, let me see, mathematical symbols, something like, uh, you know, let me see, I think. Yeah, I think I have it here. Un conjunto era, era eh, eh, se usa este símbolo, eh, este símbolo. Símbolo, este es un conjunto. Menos, infinito, ajá. Y, y es, eh, esto, así se, se determina un conjunto. Por ejemplo, el conjunto de los números reales es una R, ¿verdad? Y es un, un, es un conjunto de números. Es a, a set of numbers, ¿ok? Then, eh, por ejemplo, el, el conjunto de los números reales incluye adentro el conjunto de los números naturales. ¿no? Uno puede decir así, eh, eh, el conjunto de los números reales incluye the, the set of real numbers, include the natural numbers. Okay, that's, eh, I'm doing, eh, repeating too much, but I think, eh, I believe that you, I have the impression that you are kind of confused. Is it is this confusing for you, Natalie? Natalie? Uh, Natalie, no te escuché. Sí. Es confuso para ti. Eh, a little. A little. Okay. Okay. But try to. Okay. Then. Eh, y para ti. Eh, Daniela, ¿es confuso? ¿Ya has estudiado? Are, eh, are you studying the natural number? Have you studied the natural number? A little bit now in, in my school. Uh -huh. You are studying it. Okay. And Fabricio, are, eh, have you studied the natural number, the, the, the set of numbers? That was normal to, to study it in Honduras. Yes. Okay, yeah, uh, Fabricio and Javier, Javier. Javier, are you there? Uh, mm -hmm. Have you studied the, 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 the set of numbers? No. No, you haven't, in, oh. in which, which grade are you, in which grade? No. No? In which grade are you? ¿En qué grado estás tú? En octavo. Octavo año. Okay. And that's, uh, that's eighth grade. You are in eighth grade. You are 
in eighth grade, okay? In, you know, primary school, in, in, in school in the United States, for example, in, in Honduras tries to imitate the United States and everything. Primary school is uh, from the, the first grade, first grade, It says it's given first grade to the sixth grade, okay? Sixth or sixth, sixth grade, okay? Acuérdense que, remember that this, uh, when you use, you have to, this is an ordinal, ordinal number. Then uno no dice un grado, uno dice first, primero, a primer grado. In English, uh, in English, first grade and sixth grade. Okay, sixth is in sixth. No, it's a state grade. And uh, starting from middle school is, uh, say middle school is from seven to seven. To ninth grade mm -hmm. and high school is 10th grade and to 12th grade okay and uh, do you understand that uh, let me see who is here. Who is here? And Natalie, Daniela, Fabricio, Javier. Okay, Catherine, do you understand this? I uh, think primary school. You're not in primary school. And uh, do you, Catherine, which uh, grade are you? Yes, I understand. Mm -hmm. um, in, in which grade are you? Middle school. Mm hmm. But in which, in which grade, in seven, eighth, or nine? And age. Eighth grade. Okay. Mm -hmm. Age. Eighth grade. You, uh, then you, you have to answer, I am in ninth grade. Okay? That's what you have to answer to the question. And uh, Paola, are you in which um, grade are you? Um, yo ya terminé, Mister. Mm -hmm. Then you already finished. You, you in English? It says I already. I'm sorry, I already finished. Uh huh. Of high school, for example. Uh huh. And are you going to, are you planning to go to college? Um, in, in the university, no. Mm -hmm. Yes, are you, the question is, are you planning to go to college? Mm -hmm. Que si planeo ser a universidad, sí. Mm -hmm. And what sí. do you want to study? What do you want to study? Um, gerencia de negocios. Mm -hmm. how, how do you uh, say in, in gerencia de negocios? Business management. Right? Mm -hmm. Business management. Because, um, then I, I, then I, if you want to be more detailed, I can say, you can say, I am interested in, in studying business a business management degree because you don't know which degree mm -hmm. yeah but there are many business management degrees that you can pursue uh -huh. there then i will say here there are many business management degrees 
that you can pursue in college. Uh -huh. yes, there, are, there are many business management degrees. In muchas, hay muchos degrees. Yeah, what is a degree? A degree is something is like a un diploma, right? It's a business management, international business management, or hospital business management, or a, I don't know, national uh, business management. Those are the degrees, the different types of, of diplomas that you're going to have. And pursue is that, uh, in, in English, is that you want to, to Mm -hmm. uh, pursue is that uh, I don't know. Studying for studying uh -huh. business degree. In pursuing problem. Okay, in pursuing is is uh, that pursue is that you want to follow, you want to go and study that specific thing in college. Pursue es como yo quiero es tu, eh, es como perseguir, pero yo quiero tener. Pero uno no dice I'm interested in in studying. You normally you say studying or pursuing, pursuing a business management degree. O sea, eh, como adquirir, ¿verdad? Adquirir, en, adquirir un, un título en gerenciamiento de negocios. And do, do you understand how to use the word pursue? And we will continue with this real number because we are eh, kind of reviewing what we learned the last time. Estamos revisando lo que aprendimos la vez pasada. Pero eh, eh, here are some of the numbers uh, that we cited, the rational numbers. What are the rational numbers, uh, Javier? You remember? Mm -hmm. What are the rational numbers? Javier, uh, Javier, what are the rational numbers? Neg los negativos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it could be negative, but, uh, but the, which are the rational numbers? Which are the The rational number is all number that can be express as a division uh -huh. For, uh, it's a divided by b okay that's a rational number for example uh, give me an example of rational number Javier. what is an example of a rational number mm-hmm um, what is what what is uh, uh an example? Una, una división. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, uh, for example, one over two, uh, half. Uh, that's half. La mitad. ¿verdad? Una mitad es un número racional, verdad? No. Javier. Half is a rational number, isn't it? Yes. Okay. And one over four is a rational number. Yes. Mm -hmm. And give me another example. One and um, one. Not and necessarily. 
not not necessarily have to have to have to be um a if a one over something it, it can be a thousand over six that's an an a rational number okay anything that you can you know express like it like that is an, an a, and what about two is two an a rational number yes why eh, por que se puede dividir mm -hmm. is a rational number because you can express it as a right as a, a fraction you know a f you can say two is equal to four over two then you can express the thing of it is that the natural numbers and the 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 whole numbers are included in the rational numbers. And do you understand that? Eh, what I said, entendieron eso? De que el número dos es un número racional porque lo podemos expresar como una fracción. O sea, to, eh, todos los números, all, all integer numbers, can be expressed expressed as a fraction okay if you if you say uh, for example 5 is equal to 10 over 2 okay all of the integer numbers are in uh, the integer numbers include their the integer numbers or whole numbers include the uh, the natural number okay then the uh, then because of that uh, because of that the rational numbers include both natural natural and and integer number Okay, because uh, the the rational numbers so much is un numero, es un grupo de numeros, is a set of group that is bigger than the integer and the natural numbers. The natural numbers, it, all of them are infinite. Todos los grupos son infinitos, pero hay grupos de números que son más grandes que otros. ¿Por qué? Porque son más, ¿verdad? Pero todos son infinitos. Todos los grupos de números son infinitos. ¿Verdad? You may think at, at this point that this is, well, what, what would I use this? ¿Para qué voy a usar esto en mi vida? Pero eh, it seems like very interesting because I'm, eh, I'm older than you, of course. Then that Ahora yo veo que cuando yo estaba estudiando esto desde hace seis años, esta cosa, estoy aprendiendo estos conjuntos. What, what is this about? ¿Para qué necesito esto? What is it? And, and now I know how important it is to understand the things of the numbers. ¿Cómo es importante entender esta cosa de los números? Cuando uno está pequeñito, uno dice, hace los numeritos y dice, esto para qué será? Pero es muy importante. Una persona que no sabe esto, no sabe lo mínimo. Y esto es lo mínimo de matemática que puede aprender una persona. Debería ser la, de las primeras cosas que se les enseña a los niños, ¿verdad? Porque es, es básico entender esto. Es básico eh, para todo. Porque los números ustedes se los van a encontrar en toda una calculadora. You are going to find it in a calculator. You are going to find it everywhere because we are a society of numbers and if you don't understand this it's, it's, there is no entending esto you you will never you know transition to a better type of a situation you know you and that's a why i think understanding numbers is is important for a society like honduras to develop. Es importante para un país como Honduras desarrollarse. Si Honduras no aprende matemática, 
se va a quedar en el tiempo de los Plicapiedras, en el Flesto, ¿verdad? Pero la sociedad hondureña tiene que aprender tecnología para poderse superar, si no van a quedar en el, en, eh, como los Picapiedras, ¿verdad? Entonces, this is very important, even though you can think that it's not important, but it's, it, 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 well, I was thinking when I was younger, it, it was not important. Why would I have to learn about numbers, but it's very important. Yeah. And you will see when you're older that what, what is the importance of this. Y, y cuando sean más eh, grandes, van a aprender, cuando sean older, when, when you're older, you will be, you will know that what is the importance of understanding numbers. Okay, entonces, eh, we understand, and I will make a question to, to Fabricio. Fabricio, then, which is bigger? The, 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 what I was explaining just right now, but eh, I just want to know if you understand that, if everybody understand, understands eh, what I'm explaining. What, the rational number is bigger than the, the, the natural number, which is bigger? Which is bigger, the rational, the natural, or the or the, or the whole numbers? Or the real numbers? Well, do we have real numbers as well? Fabricio, which is which is bigger from from these three? Uh, from these three, which one is the rational, the whole, or the natural? Natural. Hmm. The natural actually is this the smaller, the smaller. Okay, the bigger. Which is the yeah. bigger? Yeah. Which is the bigger? The bigger set of number. The whole number. No, the rational number. Acuerdo. Rational, rational numbers, numbers are bigger than the whole number. Mm -hmm. And the whole numbers are bigger than the natural number. Mm -hmm. And the real numbers are bigger, are, are bigger, real number are bigger than the rational number. Uh, uh, for example, you can express a real number. Let me make a, an ex, explain you here. Then a real number, for example, is uh, pi, for example. Okay, pi, that is equal to three point, 14, uh, I will make it up. That That's a real number, for example. That's a real number. You can express like that. The rational number you can express like that, for example, one and a half. Okay? And the whole numbers is a whole number. It can be minus eight. And the natural number, they just are positive numbers, okay? It could be four or five, whatever. ¿Entienden eso? Los números, los números reales pueden tener muchos, muchos, eh, you know, eh, muchas posiciones decimales, decimal points, you know? You, they have a decimal, decimal. Por ejemplo, si ustedes tienen una línea, if you have a, a line, let's sign If you have a line, 
okay? You can have the zero here, okay? The natural number starts here in, okay? The, the here start the natural, okay? The whole numbers are all of this, you know, it's going from minus infinity to infinity, okay? And, and the rational numbers, for example, is half here, okay? Then you can see that there are more rational numbers because here there are many uh, between one and two. I can, I can tell you, well, I want one in one billion, okay? And that's part of the rational number, okay? And it will be located some somewhere here, okay? In this point, okay? Then there, there are, there are much more ra uh, rational numbers because it's not only only it's not starting in one. For example, the number natural is comienza en uno, verdad? Y al, eh, ¿verdad? Los, los números, eh, por ejemplo, los números enteros comienzan en menos infinito y terminan en infinito, pero solo son los números enteros, uno, dos, tres, ¿verdad? Pero los números eh, racionales, ellos son mucho más, porque imagínense, todos los números que hay entre, entre cero y uno, hay millones de números, hay infinitos números, actually, de millones. Entonces, the, the rational numbers are, is bigger than the the than than the uh, the rational numbers is bigger than the whole numbers and the natural numbers, but the real numbers uh, estos numbers this 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 number. Uh, This number, for example, no es un número normal. This is a number that is un número que tiene una diferencia. Entonces, estos todavía son más porque en medio de esos números fracciones están estos números. ¿eh? Este número, por ejemplo, the number three point something is somewhere here. But uh, this number is not one third. For example, uh, we you, you should say well this is is between one uh, three and one third, no, three and one quarter. Mm -hmm. And three and three quarter. And three and a half. Three and a half. Okay. Nosotros podemos decir que el número pi está entre 3.25, no, ni 3.25, 3 octavos, 3 octavos, entre 3 y 1 octavo y 1 y 1 cuarto, ¿verdad? Porque 3 y 1 octavo sería ¿cuánto? 3.125, ¿verdad? Y... Eh, 3 y 1 cuarto es 3.25. Entonces, those numbers are special numbers that are in the middle of the fraction. Then, estos números son es, números especiales, los números reales, y los números reales también incluyen los números racionales y incluyen los números enteros y incluyen los números naturales. ¿Entienden eso? O sea, eh, eh, los números eh, los números reales son, son incluyen todos los otros Grupos, como que uno se come al otro. ¿verdad? Un grupo de números eh, engloba al otro, se lo come, o sea, hace parte de. En, en, no, I don't know if I'm explaining this. En, the whole situation here. La situación que es, estamos viendo aquí es primero que aprendan un poco de matemática. First, that you understand a little bit of math. 
even though you don't understand everything, aunque no entiendan todo, pero que se esfuercen en entender en inglés la explicación. But that, that's the most important part, that you try to understand what I'm saying in English. And uh, the best way to do it is like you do it in school. When you don't, when you go to school, it's not that you understand everything that they say. No es que cuando uno va a la escuela entiende todo lo que dijeron. Pero alguna parte, some, some of it, you understand. And the most, we are learning English here. We are not learning mathematics, especially, but it, it, I would like that you do. Pero tienen eh, el aprender, enfocarse en otra, en un tema específico que a veces de matemática you already know, you, a veces you already, ustedes ya conocen un poco, de eso les esfuerza más a, y los hace en, en tratar de agarrar más el inglés, to understand what I'm saying, you know, because you will connect with other words that I'm Uh, I'm teaching, and uh, I will connect what I'm saying in regards to the the, the, the subject that we are uh, learning, and that's why we are learning English, and uh, we are in, uh, learning this in mathematics. So let me let me go back here. Let me ask someone because you are too quiet. Daniela, did you understand this? Yes. Which is the biggest um, set of numbers? Real numbers. Mm -hmm. And which is the smallest? And natural numbers. Mm -hmm. And uh, can you express, can you, uh, Daniela, express for me? Let me see. Here. Okay. Can you express, for example, can you give me an um, express the number 100 in a fraction? Uh, 10, uh, 100, 100, by 10? No, 10? It, it, uh, remember that fraction is going to be A divided by B. And divided by B. A is a one number and, and B is another number. Then uh, which number divided by another number give you a hundred? There are many, there are many answers uh, to this question. 50? Um, 50 divided by, no, it's not gonna give you a uh, hundred. No, a hundred, no, yeah, divided by? 15, 50. No, no, by 50, no, 10. because it, no. Because ten, divided by 10, it will give you 10, equal 10. Okay. One. One, okay. You can you can say that, okay. You can you can express 100 divided by one is a one. Or you can say, well, instead of, uh, that's a, the, 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 uh, the, that's one of the expression, but you can actually, For example, say a thousand divided by 10 is equal a hundred, okay? Or you can say 5,000, 50,000 divided by 50, 500 is 50,000 divided by, let me see, five divided by one, zero, zero, by 500, it's gonna give you a hundred, okay? Then uh, you can express uh, you can express a hundred in millions or uh, inf infinite infinite number of fractions. You know you can do whatever you want in order to the to express uh, to make that expression happen. You know the number a hundred. Okay. Then let's uh, let's see with Natalie. Natalie. Um, How can you express four as a rational number, for example? Um, divide by four. Mm -hmm. Four divided. Normally, well, uh -huh. there are many ways yeah. as well. You can say. Mm -hmm. 
Normally, the real number, it, as a real number, you, you will have to use a, 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 a square root. Which number is going to give you four, four? Which square root? Um, four. Mm -mm, four is square root of four is two. What is the square root of that gives you? Mm -hmm, it gives you four. To give you that answer, you you just have to to multiply four times two, four times four. What is the number? Hmm? What, uh, what is what is four times four? Sixteen. Uh huh. Sixteen. Then then this is the number. Okay. Okay, and then. The square root of 16 is 4, okay? Square root, the root is of 16. Uh, now, if I give you this, the cubic square of, instead of being square root, we are going to say that you're going to have a, a cubic square, a cubic root. Uh -huh. A cubic root of uh -huh. a cubic root of of four. What is the cu uh, cubic ro root of four? Hmm? That gives you four. Which number? A uh, cubic square. A cubic root. I'm sorry. Of which number gives you four? Remember, you, you, you will have to multiply four three times. What is four times four times four? Sixty-four. Sixty-four. Okay. Then this is sixty-four. Okay. Then if I, for example, give you Four equals, and let's say the six square root uh -huh. what will be that number? Mm -hmm. How many times will you have to, to multiply four? Uh Four. Four? How many times? Four. Seis veces cuatro. Mm-hmm. Six times. Okay. Six mm -hmm. times. Uh -huh. And how much is uh, four times four times four times four times four times four? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, four, uh -huh. four thousand. Mm -hmm. Four thousand. Ninety-four. Uh -huh. Four thousand and ninety-four. Okay. 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 That that is important, and you know. What is important? Why? Eh, Por qué es importante esto que estamos aprendiendo y que lo están aprendiendo en inglés? Is because you already know the numbers. Yeah. Ustedes ya saben los números, pero no se enfocan en estar diciendo el número, sino que se están enfocando en hacer entender la operación. Entonces, como que ustedes en su mente están grabando el inglés. Se están poniendo el inglés enfrente porque están pensando en inglés you are you are you are being forced to learn english even though you are not learning english but uh, directly you are the the language but you are learning through uh, understanding or learning another subject están aprendiendo inglés por aprend al 
al mismo tiempo aprendiendo otro y otro otro otra materia otro tema ¿verdad? then is that's that's the way it is that's these are rational numbers you know the rational numbers they are also these numbers that are the the the, the ones that are making are they produce whole numbers but the the rational numbers uh, will produce normally number like uh, like this for example the square root of three the square root of three uh, okay is a uh, let me see i will make it in the calculator it's 1.73 okay. uh, square root of three Uh, it's 173, 20, 50, 80. Okay, that is 1, 20, uh, 73, 20, 50, and, and it continues it, to the infinite. Okay, these rational numbers, they, they don't have, uh, they, they uh, some of them, but mostly they don't, la mayoría no tienen un, un final, ¿verdad? no tienen un final. Esos números van hasta el infinito, ¿verdad? Eh, eh, esos números, esos son los números racionales. Si tienen un, un, eh, y algunos, la, las fracciones, las fracciones, the fractions, the rational numbers, por ejemplo, one divided by four, sometimes they have an ending. Por ejemplo, one divided by four is 0.25, ¿ok? But, por ejemplo, one divided by three, is point three 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 and never ends, never ends. Okay, is it goes to the infinite? Okay, then the you can see here by analyzing the type of um, of decimal points that the number has, why the rational numbers the re uh, the uh, the the real numbers are bigger than the rational numbers because the, re the real numbers uh, include, the real numbers are between uh, these, these numbers. In between, están metidos, los números reales están metidos en medio de los números eh, racionales y, y, y también son números enteros y pueden ser números naturales también. This is what we are doing. And let me, well, we will continue uh, doing the video right now. We are going to uh, see the video. We are, uh, and you're going to try to translate it to, uh, uh, I, we won't try to translate it, but we will discuss some of the things that they will explain. Vamos a a ver el video pero, y les voy a explicar algunas cosas que van explicando ellos eh, y el propósito es ya no traducir ya ya ese de traducción no more translation you will have to follow me you know to understand what you're doing and please a, a, ask question if you have a question because it's important to for me to understand what is the level of understanding because if I am just talking and you don't understand, that's not the point here. Okay, no, el punto no aquí es no solo que yo hable y ustedes estén escuchando sin entender. El punto es que ustedes también entienden que se en, de, de que ustedes se encajen en la conversación. That you engage in the conversation. Okay, que se, se, se. okay then let's see uh, the video. Let me, let me, okay, then. Okay, there are, uh, here, but we will start here. Even though there's even an though infinite, infinite, amount infinite amount of both integers and real numbers, there are more real numbers than integers. So some infinities are bigger than others. The study of structures is where you start taking numbers and putting them into equations in the form of variables. Algebra contains the rules of how you then manipulate these equations. Here you'll also find vectors and matrices, which are multidimensional. This is where you start taking numbers and putting integers and real Then I will uh, ch uh, choose someone. Daniela, can you help me 
you will read only in English. You, no more translation. Okay? It's only in English, and you will read what he says first, and uh, you will read what it is, and then you will... Um, then you, we will continue with the next. Uh, Daniela, can you read uh, that? An infinity amount of both integers and real numbers. Mm -hmm. There are okay. more real numbers than... Than? Than. Numbers. There are more real numbers than integers. So some infinity... Mm -hmm. so, and then uh, integers. Uh, some, so some infinite are bigger than, than others. It is a bigger than others. The study of structures is where you start. The study of structures is where uh, you start taking, taking numbers and putting them into equation. Mm -hmm. Taking numbers and putting them into equations in the form of variables. In the form of a vari variables. Variable. Uh -huh. Algebra contains the rules of how you then manipulate. Algebra contains the rules of how the, you then manipulate this equation. These equations. Here you'll also find vectors and matrices, which are multidimensional numbers. Here you will also find vectors and matrices, which matrices. are matrices, which are multi-dimensional numbers, and uh, and the rules of how they relate to each and the rules of how they relate to each other are captured in linear algebra. Mm -hmm. Linear algebra. Okay, then these these are uh, uh, the the study of structure. You know, the study of structure that is equation, matrices, vectors, algebra. I don't know. If this is uh kind of different. If you are, this is the level that you have at school. Probably you are starting to learn this in school. But probably uh, yeah. most of you should already have started learning. Um, learning this, uh, the these uh, topics in school. In school, not continue here. Let's continue with Catherine. Catherine, are you there, Catherine? Yes. Okay. Then um, let's continue. Each other are captured in linear algebra. Number theory studies the features. Number theory studies the filters of everything in the last section on numbers, like the properties. Of everything in the last section on numbers, like the properties of prime numbers. Combinatorics looks at the properties of certain structures. Combinatoric look at the properties of certain structures like trees, graphs, and other things. Structures like trees, graphs, and other things that are made of discrete chunks that you can... That are made of discrete chunks that you can count. Mm -hmm. Count. Group theory looks at group theory look at objects that are related to each others in well groups. Objects that are related to each other in well groups. A familiar example is a, a familiar example is a Rubik's. Cube, which is an example of a permutation group. Mm -hmm. You know, a Rubik cube. cube. Okay, then uh, we uh, we are gonna ju just review some of these concepts with you 
right now, then we are gonna see what are you gonna uh -huh. you understand that. You know what a, a variable is. A variable, you know a variable is um uh, mm -hmm. Catherine, you know what a variable is? Catherine? Um, mm -hmm. a variable what is a variable uh, i don't know Eh, no, teacher, se le escucha entrecortado. Ah, que se fue. O sea, ahorita volvió el, el, 
el, el sonido. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yes, okay, Mr. Natalie. Or I was talking, but I, I originally I was talking to Ana Paula. Ana Paula, can you hear me? Ana Paola. Ah. Uh? Can you hear me, Ana Paola? Uh, the numbers of apple that mm -hmm. I need need is a ten of the number boxer that mm -hmm. I will buy. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I, I actually I will read the number of boxes. Is it a tenth of the number of apples? Let's, let's say. That's it. what I tried to say. Then, uh, Ana, Ana Paula, repeat with me because uh, uh, I need you to improve your pronunciation. The number of boxes. And the number of oh. boxers. No, boxes. Boxes. Yes. Uh, that I need. That I knew. Need. Need. Is a tenth. Is a tenth. Of the number of apples that I will buy. Of the number of apples that I will buy. Will buy. Uh -huh. Will. Will. No, no will. Is will will will. Uh -huh. I will buy. Entonces, que es, eh, what I'm saying here is that eh, you know that you can. The, eh, eh, this is like the real life. You know, you eh, think that you are a farmer and you have eh, you plant apples. You are an apple grower. You are an apple grower. That means grower. You are a farmer. You are a farmer. A farmer is un tienes una hacienda. Es un farmer. It is un dueño de hacienda, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. And and you grow apples to live. You know, for business, you grow apples for uh, you know, for uh, to sell, you know, to sell. Uh huh. And in each, and, and you are trying to, you are trying to, trying to know how many boxes you will need to buy. Okay? Then you're trying to know how many boxes you will need to buy. And you know that in each box, you can fit 10 apples. Then we are, um, we, the answer to this question is, is what is in, in yellow. The number of boxes, because you know all of this, you know that you grow apples, okay? But you you don't know how many apples will you grow. Normally, you don't know exactly, exactly um, how many apples you will produce that uh, produce in each year, okay? In each year, you don't know because it varies. That is, that's what is called in each year. I don't know why it's, it's giving, uh, giving a problem, but it's in each year. You don't know. You nor, uh, Normally, you don't know, in, 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 uh, for example, in in year two thousand and sixteen, you uh, produce uh, this quantity, and two thousand seventeen, you produce 
uh -huh. in 2018 you produce uh, 196 and and so on and in 223 you produce mm -hmm. then th then this is a variable okay this is a variable the number of apples that you produce every year is varying that's why it's called variable then we are going to develop an equation to 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 know how many how many boxes uh, will I need, and the, the number of boxes is gonna vary. Then there's one one variable. One variable is the number of boxes. Okay. Uh huh. The other variable is the number of apples. Okay. Uh huh, and we have a constant because what is the constant, um, Javier? Can you can you can you tell me which is the constant that we have? Uh, mm -hmm. Where is the constant? How many apples fit in each? in each box. Hmm? How many apples? Ten. ten. Then we have ten. a constant that is 10 because it, that is a constant. You cannot feed more than 10 apples in each box. Then you can say, well, you can say the number of boxes, it will be equal to the number of apples divided by 10, okay? And then this is an equation, okay? And this equation, this is the equation, uh, because you, you every year you're gonna, what, you, what you're gonna do, Javier, every year to know what will be the number of boxes that you need. Mm -hmm. You will divide the number of what? You will divide the number of apples by what? By what? Javier? Can you hear me, Javier? And you will divide the number of apples by by what? By ten, by ten, okay? Javier, can you hear me? Yeah. Uh huh. Then how how many boxes do you need here in twenty sixteen? Hmm. Javier. Um. Um. Ten. How many boxes? Ten. No, you won't need ten boxes. You will need one hundred and fifty-six thousand six hundred and thirty-three divided by ten. That means that you will need fifteen thousand six hundred and sixty-three six hundred and sixty-three point three boxes. Uh, Catherine, how many boxes you will need in 2017? How many, uh -huh. how many boxes you will need in 2017? Or, or Five? You, 
No, it, it's gonna be, this is the equation. Remember, the equation is the number of apples. This is the number of apples in, in each year, okay? This is the number of apples. The number of apples is 175,000 divided by 10. How many apples do you need, Catherine? Um, is mm -hmm. no, yes, yes, uh -huh. but in English, in English, remember? Um, eh, ¿cómo se pronuncia 17,000. 70,000. Seventeen, seventeen thousand five hundred. Seventeen thousand and, and five hundred. Five hundred. Five hundred. Boxes, okay. Boxes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Now, uh, Ana Paola, what what is uh, the what, uh, what is the number of boxes that you need in twenty eighteen? The Nineteen hundred divided by ten. Okay. How many? How many? Nineteen thousand. Nineteen thousand. Repeat with me, Ana Paola, please. 19,522 boxes. 522 boxes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Let's see, oh. Natalie. Natalie, how many boxes will you need in 2023? Um, Twenty five hundred, not thousand, six hundred and twenty three boxes. Uh huh, six hundred and twenty three boxes. Okay, that's correct. Let me see who I Fabricio. I need. I'm missing Fabricio. Fabricio, let me see. I will put 2024 because you already have, we already have the production for this year. Ya tenemos la producción de este año de manzanas. Entonces, la, la, la producción de manzanas de este año es esta. What, uh, Fabricio, what, what is the number of boxes that you will need? Espérenme. En una caja caben 10 manzanas, ¿verdad? Yes, yes. In each box, you can fit 10 apples. And it will be this number, the production, divided by 10. And how, how many boxes do you, will you need? You just have to eliminate one zero from this. How many? Twenty-seven hundred. Thousand. Thousand. Uh huh. Uh, five hundred. Five hundred boxes. Okay, and you will need twenty-seven thousand five hundred boxes. That's that's the the, the because you see, and he uh, the this the. The this um this expression is in letters, but is are the same. You know, I can say this is this is the same. This is the number of boxes that I need is a tenth of the number of apples that I will buy. That means that the el número de cajas que yo necesito 
es un décimo del número de eh, manzanas que uh, I can hear is not buy, actually is produce. They all produce because you're a farmer. Okay? Que voy a producir. ¿Entendieron eso? This is eh, important. We are fixing here how to use the number, how you can really relate numbers and think, think in English about numbers and you know probably you don't remember how to say thousand but uh, the important thing is that you hear uh, how this is going to work and also we are learning about what is the structure the structure mathematical structure it it tells you about equations equations use variables equations okay use variables and constants, constants, okay, as well, también, ¿verdad? Then the equations are important to find out things that will happen uh, or that are happening. Las ecuaciones son importantes para saber qué es lo que vas a comprar o situaciones que vas a comprar, porque si, if you are a farmer, eh, you need, if, si tú eres un hacendero, tienes que saber cuánto. Si produces huevos, if you produce eggs, for example, then you need to know how many boxes you will buy, how many doses. And, and normally, eh, you know, the, if, if it's eggs, uh, a, a, a box or a container, a container of eggs, uh, you know, feeds. 12 x normally, una docena, ¿verdad? Or, or, or it's a dozen of x, okay? X, uh -huh, for x. Mm -hmm. X, a box or container of x fits a dozen of x. Also, you can have a train of x. Also, we can have a tray of eggs. Yes, un, un, a tray is como una bandeja, ¿verdad? Una bandeja. And a tray of eggs fits thirty eggs. Okay. Then if you can say, if, for example. Uh, for example, then the number of of uh, containers. It will be the number of eggs divided by twelve. Okay, or the number of trays will be equal to uh, let let's see let's see if we understood this. Uh, Dan Daniela, how will be the trays? The number of uh, trays. How would you do the equation for the trade of X? Um, Daniela? 30. Uh -huh. The number of, uh -huh. number of trays, it will be equal to? 30? No, no. It will be equal to the number of eggs divided by by what? Oh, okay. no, by a tray a tray is 30 x it will be 30. Okay. Ah, so. uh, 30. Okay. Is the number of x that we are making the equation. How many how many containers will I need? Well I will uh, if I have x amount of x, you can go x cantidad de huevo. Yo tengo que dividirlo por 12. I have to divide it by 12. And if I need to know how many trays of eggs I need, I need to uh, divide the number of eggs that I produce divided by 30. Okay? That's what is this about. In an equation. Uh-huh. 2.5. What, uh, what is it? I, 2.5, uh, uh, what is uh, your question, Daniela? 
30 divided by 12 is 2.5. 2 uh, what is it? Uh, 30 divided by 12, you said. Oh, no, no, no. But it, 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 that is, you want to know how many. Uh, 30 divided by 12, you said. No, no, but we don't, we don't, we are not doing that uh, question. What we are trying to understand here is if you're a, if you have a, a farm of chicken, uh, you know, and you produce eggs of hens actually, and you produce eggs, okay. What is the difference between a chicken and a hen? <laughs> well, chicken, chicken, uh, it normally is. To be eaten, and uh huh, and a hand. You can eat a hand as well, but normally, a hand I'm making is to lay eggs. Okay. Okay. Then, un chicken, un pollo es para comérselo, y una gallina es para que ponga huevos, verdad? That's what it, we we normally. Yes, I'm making the difference here because a chicken doesn't lay eggs, okay? The hens lay eggs. The chickens are normally eaten. And you, if you have a farm and you have a poultry farm, this is poultry, poultry farm, you raise, uh -huh, you raise chicken, okay? And if you have a, an egg farm, you raise or you grow, uh -huh, you raise uh -huh, hands. And there's, uh, and there's, uh, ¿Entendieron eso? Yes. Uh -huh. El chicken y la diferencia entre el chicken y, y hen. Por eso es que dice la diferencia, porque estamos, uh, cuando hablamos de huevos, hablamos de gallinas y cuando hablamos de comida, de para comerse es pollo, ¿verdad? Entonces, es esa diferencia, una pequeña diferencia. What is the, what, uh, we, what, the important thing that we are learning here is how to do the equation. Use uh, the, the equation, what are the two factors of an equation? What are the two uh, uh, things that we have in an equation? Uh, uh, Fabricio, ¿qué tipo de, uh, ¿qué usamos en una ecuación? What, uh, what do we use in an equation? Uh, division. No, no, we use ah. here. Uh, variables. 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 Uh, variables. Repite conmigo. Variables. Variables. No, no variables. 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 Uh, v, V. O V. Variables. No es variable. Es variable. Ok. Con V. V de Victoria. Victor. No, no dice Victor. Dice Victor. Entonces es variables, variables. Repite conmigo, eh, Fabricio. Variables. Uh -huh. Variables. Variables. Uh -huh. Variables. And constants. Constant. Con uh, constant. Entonces en una ecuación usamos... We use variables and constants, okay? That's what we are using here to find out how many uh, containers we need. We need, uh, okay, then uh, Fabricio, if we produce this year 128,250 eggs, how many, how many, uh-huh. And, and I will, uh-huh, and I will, um, I will pack. 
half of the eggs in in a dozen containers and the other half in trays how many how many dozen containers and trays do I need? Fabricio, you are going to do the first part. Va a ser la primera parte. The first part is half of those eggs, you're going to pack them in in dozen containers. ¿Cómo harías la, la fórmula? Fabricio? Sí. ¿Cómo harías la fórmula ahí? How, how many, dice que te estoy diciendo, I'm telling you that half of the eggs, you're going to Pack them in dozen containers. How many containers do you need? You're going to do the, the first. Half is in the same Half is la mitad. La mitad de los huevos, de esos 128,250 huevos que produciste, lo vas a empacar en en dos en containers containers de una docena cuántos containers de una docena necesitas how many do you need remember the 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 one that uh, is the number of eggs divided by twelve see the, you already have the the the, the equation that's what is important to have an equation see the equation is the number of eggs divided by twelve uh -huh. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que tienes que hacer? Dividirlo. Ajá. Bueno, entonces, ¿cómo, cómo lo harías? How, what, how will you do it? Tell me what is the number that you have. What, what number you, you will use? Twelve. Mm -hmm. Twelve, yes, that's the twelve. But the, the, you have here, the, the, esta es la fórmula, pero el número de huevos es este, ¿verdad? ¿eh? ¿Cuánto? 128 mil, pero no te están diciendo que los 128 mil lo vas a empacar, sino que solo la mitad, ¿verdad? Entonces, you want to, to pack, quieres empacar la mitad de esos huevos en contenedores de 12 y la otra mitad en, en, en bandejas de 30 huevos. Que, eh, entonces, ¿cómo vas a, cuántos contenedores eh, de de 12 de contenedores necesitas de 12 onzas de 12 huevos you know how to do it Fabricio eh. mm -hmm. is that you you will have to to, to no. 128.250 divided by 2 uh -huh, y después divided by 12 29. No, no, 29 no, son 128 mil. Sería 128 mil dividido por 2. Eh, 128,250 divided by 2 es 64,125. Sesenta y cuatro mil, entonces me sale cinco mil trescientos treinta y tres punto treinta y tres, 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 t
Three hundred. Three hundred. Three hundred. Forty-three. Forty-three, ¿verdad? Forty-three point seventy-five. Sí. Point seventy-five. Eso es claro que esos esos huevos ahí van a quedar algunos huevos volando, ¿verdad? Porque no 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 llegaste. Si no te salió un número entero, if you didn't have a whole number, that means that there will be eggs that are going to be, you know, left over. Que van a quedar como sobrando, ¿verdad? Unos como punto setenta y cinco de una docena son como ocho huevos. Entonces te van a sobrar ocho huevos, ¿verdad? Ocho huevos que no los vas a poder empacar porque esos huevos eh, no, no, te, no son doce, ¿verdad? Si no son doce, no te da un, un número entero, ¿verdad? Entonces por eso es lo que les digo yo. Oh, the whole numbers. Ahí aparecieron los números los números que estábamos aprendiendo arriba, ¿verdad? Before, we were learning about the whole numbers and that's why we, if we have a 0.75, something because we didn't get to fit everything in the containers. No pudimos meter todo en los contenedores. Ocho, un contenedor va a quedar. Eh, entonces, ahí tú puedes tomar una decisión. You can take, make a decision. You can say, well, I won't buy that container or I will buy it and I will have the a or I will eat the eggs with my family. Entonces, me voy a comer los ocho huevos con mi familia or whatever. Then you are going to, uh, but that 0.75 is telling you that something is left, left over. Something is not full. It's not whole is not whole. The, 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 one of the boxes will be uh, with uh, missing eggs. Una de las cajas va a tener huevos faltando. Mm -hmm. Entonces, ahora, me va a ayudar, ¿quién me va a ayudar? A ver si ya es lo último, vamos a ver, no se preocupen, no los voy a seguir eh, drilling. You, eh, Daniela, si me ayuda, Daniela, what, how, many, how many trays will you, will you need? Because I told you that half half of the containers are gonna be in 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 con uh, half of the eggs will be in container and half of the eggs will be in 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 trays. And Daniela, what uh, la formula que vas a utilizar cuál es? The formula that you are gonna use, which is the formula. Daniela, can you hear me? Uh, yes, Mister. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Which is the formula that you're gonna use? Divided by. Mm -hmm. Divided by what? You you need to put it in trays. Now uh, trays. Uh, uh huh. Twelve times twelve. Twelve thousand. Uh -huh. It's divided by thirty. Okay. <laughs> It's, it's the number of eggs divided by 30. Then it will be 128, 250 divided by 2 divided by 30. Uh -huh. ¿Cuánto es esto? That is 64, 125 divided by 30. ¿Cuánto es eso? Es, es Mm, two two thousand one hundred thirty seven point five. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Five. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's number. Then, then for for uh, if you produce one hundred twenty eight thousand, he produces he produces one hundred twenty uh, two hundred fifty. X, we will need 5,343 uh, containers and 2,137 uh, trays. Okay, that's what, uh, what we need. Okay, then uh, 
half of the, the production, we put it in containers and half of the production we'll put in tray. And we will have leftover, okay? We will have leftover this 0 0.75, 0 0.75 here and 0.50 here. And probably what you can do is, for example, si les, aquí les sobrar, le van a sobrar 15 huevos, ¿verdad? Porque si, si dice que es la mitad de 30 es 0.50 o 30 es 15 huevos, ¿verdad? 